There's no debating it. Being a professional musician is one of the most exciting careers in the world. You get to inspire fans with your songs while making a living off your art. For millions of people, making a living as a musician is the ultimate dream. Artists like these are living that dream every single day. And while they all have their own unique styles, sounds, and stories, everyone you're seeing right now has one thing in common. They were discovered on YouTube. We analyzed the most successful YouTube musicians from the past nine years to figure out exactly how they got to where they are today. YouTube has changed the musical landscape forever. In the past, people had to hand out CDs to strangers on the street or mail demos to record companies. Then pray to Jesus for a miracle. You might think of going viral as this impossible lottery you can only hope to win, but that's not true at all. There are proven strategies you can use to greatly increase your odds of virality. These are the same strategies that work for superstars like Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, and Justin Bieber, as well as dozens of other artists, big and small, to start living their dream of becoming full-time musicians. What we found is that they have three very specific things in common. And while the most common types of musicians on YouTube are singers, these are tricks that can launch any kind of musical career. You could be a pianist like Lara DeWitt. A beatboxer like Terry M. <laughs> or a violinist like Lindsey Sterling. The first thing, they recorded covers. Every single one of the artists we researched used cover songs to gain new fans. Using covers is a much faster way of growing your audience than posting an original song and hoping for the best. Because popular songs already have built-in audiences. People are already listening to and searching for these songs. I know, you probably want to write your own songs. And we'll get to that later in this video. But you're going to be facing a lot of musical and technical challenges when you launch your career. So for now, focus on the fastest proven way to growth hack your audience. And looking at the careers of artists like Five Seconds of Summer, Watsky, Charlie Puth, Alex G, Shawn Mendes, Kina Granis, Tyler Ward, Carly Rae Jepsen, Austin Mahone, and a ton of others. And that leads us to viral element number two, timing. Timing is key. There's a specific way to time your cover for maximum exposure that we like to call riding the wave. Here's how it works. Every month, world-famous artists release new, highly anticipated albums. What do their hardcore fans do? They flock to YouTube, which has become the most popular place online to listen to and binge watch music videos. And right there, next to the official music video, are the covers. Just by having your video in the search results, you exponentially increase the odds that a curious fan will check out your rendition of the song that they love. And when thousands of curious fans watch your video, there's a pretty good chance they'll convert into subscribers. Subscribers who stick around for your original stuff. This is Carmen, a duo from Boston. They currently have 1.5 million subscribers, three full-length albums, and have toured across North America. They are the epitome of an aspiring musician's dreams. So how did they put themselves on the map? with this exact cover of Look At Me Now from 2011. This cover, which currently has close to 102 million views, is seriously legit. I mean, listen to Carmen go bar to bar with hip hop master Busta Rhymes. But it's not just that Carmen did this amazing cover that made this video such a hit. It's the timing of this video that we can really learn from because the timing of this release helped spark Carmen's entire career. Let's break down the strategic timing behind this viral cover release. Chris Brown debuted this hit single on February 1st, 2011. After spending nine weeks on the Billboard Top 100 chart, the song peaked at number one on April 2nd. Carmen released their cover on April 12th, which means that right when the song was at its height of popularity, when likely millions of people around the world were searching for it on YouTube, Carmen's video was right alongside it. But don't go recording your Kanye cover just yet. There's one more critical element still to fold in. See, the most successful YouTube musicians never just cover a song. 
For one thing, there are legal complications with straight up copying someone else's song, and you don't want to deal with that. And besides, you're trying to promote your own talent and voice as an artist, and that's just not going to come through if you just copy an existing song. Which brings us to the third step in creating your breakout viral sensation. You've got to make the cover your own. Maybe you have an unusual voice like Holly Henry. If you pick a song in a vocal style different from your own, that will make your cover feel totally different from the original. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget. If you play an instrument, that's an easy way to give a well-known song a very distinct sound. Or if you have crazy beatbox skills like Kevin Olu Sola from the Pentatonics, you can use that to change the tone of your cover from the very first I've bar. Seen a Figure out what makes you different, what makes you, you, and showcase that in your cover. We found that one of the most popular and successful ways to do this is to record the song in a different musical style. Because, let's be honest, if people want to listen to Drake, they're just gonna go watch a Drake music video. Because, like, come on, this video has a billion views. But if you can offer a Drake fan a totally new way to experience a song they already love, like, for example, a cover of Hotline Bling done as a 30s swing song. Postmodern Jukebox's entire career is based on this concept. They've built an audience of 2 million subscribers by uploading covers of pop hits done in wildly unexpected styles. They've used that audience to launch a serious music career. Their success isn't the exception, it's the rule. But the ultimate example of putting your own musical twist on a cover song is from Anthony Vincent, better known by his YouTube channel name, 10 Second Songs. Anthony's great about using the ride the wave method. When a huge hit like Adele's Hello drops, Anthony doesn't just cover the song in a different style. He breaks it into 10 second snippets and sings the song in 25 different styles. And because he posted this when everyone in the world was searching for hello, this video has over 7 million views. This kind of video is why 10 Second Songs has almost 2 million subscribers. And yes, I know that some of you are still thinking, but I want to do my own original songs. And to that, I say, go for it. But there's no reason you shouldn't still use these methods to gain an audience and grow your channel. People who subscribe to you because of an amazing cover will probably stick around to see your original songs too. This is exactly what so many huge YouTube musicians are doing. And sure, it's not the only way to get discovered, but it's a lot faster than only uploading your original songs and hoping that somebody stumbles on them. So it's time for you to get to work. Here are some simple steps to get you started. The first thing you need to do is just pick a song. But wait, don't just start going through your favorite tracks. Remember the second component, timing. You need to cover something that people are searching for, and searching for a lot. Billboard has a lot of great lists you can search through, but we recommend that you start with the Hot 100 chart. Try and stick with songs that have been on the chart for 15 weeks or less. You want a song that's still gaining in popularity so that if it takes you a week to get your cover up, the song is still being searched for a ton and will continue to be on everyone's fingertips for the coming weeks or months. Don't overthink this part. There is absolutely nothing wrong with just picking the number one song. Even if it's been up for several weeks, you can count on a lot of people continuing to search for it. Once you've picked out a song on the rise, now it's time to make it your own. The first step is identifying where your personal music talents and preferences lie. Whatever you're going to change or add to this song for your cover, you definitely want it to be something that shows off your talent. You could be a vocalist who only sings in your unique voice, a concert pianist, play the jug and washboard, be a rapper, or a beatboxer. These steps work for all kinds of musicians. Whatever your specific musical medium is, try and use this step to identify the skills you'd like to show off in this video. Once you've got a good list, you want to pick something from it. But not just anything at random. You want to pick something that will clearly change the original song in a really specific way. The goal here is to pick something that is going to showcase your talent as well as create a cover that's totally new and unique. So to recap, pick a song that's approaching or at peak popularity, identify your talents, and pick one that will change the song significantly. Then you're ready to record it. Take your time here. Make sure you get everything as perfect as possible. You're about to have millions of eyeballs on this cover, so make sure you really nail it. Once you've finished your video, you shouldn't just expect it to go viral on its own. Yes, the tactics we've shown you will help with that exponentially, but that doesn't mean you don't need to do everything you can to ensure it happens. Just a few of the things that you can do are email your video to blogs that post similar content, post it on Facebook groups, 
submit it to Facebook pages, and post it to reddit.com slash r slash videos. For a more detailed explanation of how to do this, check out our course, How to Get Your First 30,000 Subscribers. The viral videos, the record deals, the tours, it's all just an upload away.